Hey, everyone. Your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. Today is episode 212, squeeze the most out of your closet space. And boy, do we have good ideas for you today. Yeah, and the show notes for today's episode can be found at decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash 212. Okay, now, living in a Victorian home, I don't know what those girls did with all those big giant dresses. Maybe they only had one or two. <laughs> you but only they, had one or they, two. Uh, and that's sad. Okay? You had your because... weekday, you had your everyday dress, and then you had your church dress. And okay. I think that was about it. Well, clearly they didn't keep them in closets wherever they had no. them. They had them on their backs or, or they had them someplace else. In a wardrobe. I have very, very little closet space. So I had to get really creative um, to, fit, you know, and I don't have a ton of clothes and I purge my clothes a lot, but just to get, you know, the shoes and the bags and the scarves and the things, you just need to be smart about how you're outfitting your closets. And today we're going to have tons of tips to do just that. We're in the closet. <laughs> and uh-huh. are we coming out or are we just staying in there? We're going to stay in there. We're going to stay okay. in there for at All least right. a half hour. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Let's stay in so there. when I moved into my house, there was really n- uh, no master closet to speak of. There was this sort of very narrow, long, horizontal space along the wall that the gentleman had installed these mirrored bifold doors. You know, just my look. And so I, we we took those out and we grabbed that like foot and a half, two feet to add to the room. And so there I was with a master bedroom with Napoleon closet. So I had to get sort of creative. So there was this entryway which was completely useless space. So I decided, okay, we'll move the doorway over. And I'm not suggesting any of this to everyone. I'm just getting you you primed to see what I had to deal with. So we moved the door to the room over, closed that doorway off in the hallway and created a closet. So now I have a space that uh, was raw space. It was not a closet before. So I had an opportunity to to think out of the box and think how I needed to to utilize the space to the best of my ability. And it's not a huge space. I mean, I, when I walk, it's a walk in. But when I walk in, I, you know, my shoulders are almost touching the hangers on either side. You and can walk in at a size two, but then if you go up to a four, you're not going to fit. Is that yeah, what you're probably. Saying? Yeah, <laughs> and then and maybe the whole the whole space is maybe eight, nine feet long. So it's not very long, but I just thought I need to go as vertical as possible. Mm -hmm. So I had two lines of shelves going all the way around. And basically it was just wood planks that were purchased at Home Depot with these pretty um, shelf corbels that they also sell in packs of two at Home Depot and put them along. And so I did two shelves and that would be for, you know, bags and shoe boxes and sweaters and things like that all the way up high and then rods and then under the rods where there was short clothing, I was able to tuck in two very small little East Lake dressers that I had bought because I couldn't resist and they oh, were in my orphanage nice. and, I, and I brought them in. Right. So then you can use for socks and, and undies and all that kind of stuff and could go in there. And then, um, over the door uh, shoe unit that I just purchased at my Osh yes, Hardware. Yeah. So inexpensive. So those are some things. And as we go along, there are more details as to how I use that space, but I don't want to keep talking. I want to let the other gals jump in well, here, but that's yeah. basically the setup of my closet. And it, it's almost all the way there. So I'm hoping for some more tips from my pals today to get my closet all the way there. Well, and remember the house that we worked on on Texas Flip and Move? Yeah. That one bedroom had no closet. So mm-hmm. we went with the, I, you know, like the Ikea type, uh, you know, cupboards that, that mm-hmm. we, that they had some creative ideas. I mean, just put together. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you don't even have a real closet. In which case you really need to squeeze the most out of it. Anita, you have like the most fab closet in the world. Oh, Thanks. Well, I love my closet. And, you know, it just, our house is not that big, but, you know, the builder just did it where some rooms are smaller, but that closet is its own little kind of room. But, you know, I, 
love that room. It has a, we actually, I'll, I'll include a, uh, a link in the show notes, but I actually have room in our closet for a desk and two chairs. And we actually s- sit in there a lot and talk. So especially wow. if I'm hiding from my kids. We say like, yeah, time, if your kids were little, it'd be a great time out spot. <laughs> oh, for me, yeah, yeah. It would be like, I'm for you. For that's minute. right. Yeah. Where's mommy? <laughs> She's in the closet. Yes. She's in time that's out. Right. That's right. Well, here's one thing that you can do uh, if you have limited closet space is to put some storage underneath your clothes on the floor. And that's something that you could do with baskets, totes, or even shoe racks, but just something to slide in there. Maybe it's kind of a a shelving unit or a unit where maybe it's two shelves just to put your shoes in. I mean, there's so, I mean, I love it for shoes, but you could even put hat boxes under there with other things, sweaters, um, you know, you could store anything under there, but I think that's a great place that sometimes people don't use. Anita, we have a large mm-hmm. closet and Bob Bob has half and I have half and we actually could put a dresser in the back of it. We just have a lot of space and he has his clothes in there, all of his clothes in there, in the dresser and then on his side of the closet, but it's nothing fancy. So um, what I did is I took my shoes... C- uh, that were all over the floor in boxes. And I put them on a shelf above my, the shelf above my uh, hanging clothes. Uh-huh, right. And what I've started to do is <laughs> I had, I hired a little uh, college girl. She comes in once in a while to help me organize and what have you. And I took pictures of all my shoes. I purged my shoes and I gave them all to the Salvation Army and um, the ones that I just am not using and the ones that were not in such a horrible shape that I, you know, some of them were just so bad that nobody could have worn them. And then I put them in these plastic box, like shoe boxes, you know, you can get like 10 for, for $5 at the dollar store that has a lid. And then I haven't done this yet. We took pictures of all of my shoes and I'm going to put them on the front of the shoe box. And oh, now that's a great idea. They're stacked and they stack evenly on top of each other. And it's easy for me just to pull them out. And I also take my summer shoes and I keep them in the front during the summer. And I change them out with anything that would be like winter things I keep in the back. But then that space that a lot of people use for their shoes. And I'm going to do something else with this. But for a few years, I've just gotten those plastic bins. There's like three drawers in it that are on wheels. And I put two of them side by side in there uh, under my um, shorter hanging clothes. Fits perfectly. And I put my handbags in there and my other little you know, my belts in there that I don't want to hang up and things like that in those plastic bins. And that works Great idea. perfectly. Wow. And you know what? You mentioned something that I think is so key before you even think about how you're going to use that space in your closet to really get rid of some things. And when I say get rid of, I don't mean throw them in the trash can. I mean, oh, give no, them no, to no. a friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Give them to the Salvation Army or some other organization. I have a friend who knows a lot of people that, um, you know, can't afford a lot of things. And so I just give her bags and bags of stuff. And I think she just distributes them to everybody. That's and, wonderful. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I actually, when I bought those new, a couple, a couple of new purses, I had some really nice purses in there, but I felt like, you know, I felt like if I'm getting these nice things, I really need to give some nice things away. It just felt right. I just felt like it was wrong to have so many. And so I gave the the nice ones, but the older ones away. And it, it felt so good to for to give those to someone else, to bless someone else and for someone else to enjoy. I them. love so, that I mean, idea. I think, I think that's a fun thing. And I want to mention one other thing. Because you also mentioned the chest of drawers or the dresser in your closet. I actually have a wall of built-ins in mind. But let's say you don't. That's another thing you can do if you have room is to slide a dresser in or a chest of drawers, especially a shallow one. And that's a great way to add some space, some storage. And it kind of has a built-in look without it actually being built in. 
oh, I love my little dresses. And, you know, I saw them. And I still remember the day I saw them. And I was like, I don't need these, but I can't leave them mm. here. <laughs> it was like a set of, <laughs> little set of twins, these little East, you know, the East Lake handles, like the woven, yeah. the um, carved mm-hmm. little handles. I mean, mm-hmm. so charming. And so now I put one in. I thought, well, that's really working great. And I can put my jewelry on top of it. And then I tucked in one for Peter. So they're both being utilized. So I'm so glad that I had them on hand. See, it's good to have a little backup. And it also gives you extra space in your bedroom. If you can get a dresser in there that you don't have to put in your bedroom. And that's what we did. I said, Bobby, do you think we could get that dresser in there? And he measured it and he said, yes, it was a tight squeeze because it just fit exactly under our, um, our, our pole that, you know, uh, hangs, we hang our clothes on and it is so, it's so nice in there. Yeah. He, we don't have any mm-hmm. dresser or chest of drawers in our bedroom, in, oh. in the bedroom proper. The mm-hmm. two of them are in the closet and then we he, don't either. Yeah. We don't either because there's so much storage in the, in the closet. Right. So that's what we we're don't saying, need lady. anything. You do Which your is closet, great. Right. You don't need mm-hmm. all of that. Another great place to, um, I'm sorry, to give away your stuff is if you have a local chapter of Dress for Success. Has anyone heard of that? Well, we go to their fundraisers in Houston. Oh, okay. Every year we go to their dinner in the fall. Yeah. Oh, so, it's a wonderful organization. Yeah. That girl, I don't know if she went to NYU, but I know she's from New York and the girl that started that. So that was you know, way back when I first started working at the district attorney's office. We used to help there a lot because obviously we were wearing suits to court all the time. And so, uh, you know, every six months or so she would come and we would, you know, do a big collection right there and help her cart all the stuff to her where at that point she had a little, little space. And then I know she's got these giant warehouses and now you're saying she's all over the country. It's fantastic. Or consignment. If your stuff is, you know, you think maybe you could get a little cash for your stuff. There's probably consignment stores in your area that would be happy to take your clothing. Mm Mm-hmm. Just give them a call ahead of a time and see what they're collecting. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold at the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT. And use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com 
slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. I have a, another idea that I, I just think is so charming. I've not done this, but my daughter's done this. She hangs all of her jewelry from little hooks on the back of her closet door. Now, oh, it's a great idea. I saw it taken even further, and I'm going to try this because uh, my jewelry sort of gets lost in the couple top drawers of my dresser. I saw somebody had wallpapered the back of their door, put a mirror on it, put little like little um, baskets like that are flat backed, put them on 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 the hung them on the closet and then hung little hooks to put all your long jewelry on oh, it how fun. so cool that's a great idea and i told you guys about my thread holder idea that i've done now yes. in two different houses so that's a great one for jewelry because you know the other thing about those long necklaces and like you know the the piece that you wouldn't be you know your great jewelry your costume stuff that maybe you use occasionally if you don't see it you don't wear it Oh, but you that's forget so you have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. Well, what else I've seen are towel bars uh, or some beautiful towel bars or some just sort of decorative bars. These, I, what I saw was brass and unpolished brass that was just beautiful. But something like that. And then you can hang your scarves on it, your belts on it. And I think it would be pretty too. I mean, so this is really a time while you're adding storage, why not make it pretty also? So if you're going to add a, mm. a box rather than bringing in some cardboard box, get a pretty bin to use. Mm-hmm. Or get baskets all the same or size. Baskets, and I yeah. love that idea because I like the uniformity of everything. Well, and I have some actually some of those old gym baskets that I've used. And I also found some black and white checked boxes. At, I think I found them at Target or something that are kind of nice coated box, boxes. Mm-hmm. And I think I have 15 of them. And when you get quite a few of them and they're all the same size, it's really beautiful storage and you can put things in it. You can label Ugh. it if you want to, but it really is a nice, uh, clean, uh, simple look. I think the prettier that you make things and the more organized they are, the more you're apt to keep it that way. So, you know, you're like, you know, like anything, I think closets can get really out of hand. Yes. So you've got to keep, you know, keep purging, keep putting things back um, where you got them, keep things in order like that. I do have another um really cool idea. I have a, one of those hanging, uh, soft material, like places, uh, it has little, uh, it's a shoe, a shoe holder. Do you know what I'm saying? You could just throw your shoes in all those little squares, roll up your sweaters and put your sweaters in all of those spaces because sweaters oh. take up a lot of space in a drawer and you're really not supposed to hang them. That's true. Oh, right. Yeah. When you hang them, they get the pointy thing from them. Yeah. But think, you know, I just started doing that. It is so easy because I I had shoes in there and I had read about this and I thought, oh, great idea. And I could really use the space in my one dresser. And so I took my sweaters and just rolled them up and stuck them in there. They're perfect. So like in little cubbies. Yes. But roll them, roll them. Because they're, um, um, I love shoe bags. I know. I think I've ma- mentioned this before. Um, so if you buy yourself some shoe bags, then you can get rid of the shoe boxes, which obviously the boxes take up a little bit more room. So if if they're in a bag, they're they don't get dusty first of all, and then you can stack them. It, you know, it's a it's not the the neatest stack like boxes, but boy, does it take up a lot less room. So the shoes kind of just kind of fit together a little bit. You'll put the heels going one way, and then the you know right. the toes going the other way, and so you can stack them up in their individual bags. Now, I did this with a few of them, and then I found myself rummaging through all the bags, right? Because you can't tell. So then, yes. what I did is I took again, you know, those little. I call them toe tags, but you know those little tags. Stop calling those toe okay, tags. Okay, what are we going to call it? I know. I have to stop showing. What are, what, what's Labels. Better? Just labels. Uh, just. But they're not labels because they don't I stick. Know. They're the, the well, tie-on ones. Say, uh, yeah, like tie-on the, labels. The, the manila ones that you can get yeah. at Staples and they yeah. come in different sizes. So I got a, uh, the big size with the grandiose idea of 
photographing my shoes and then printing out the photo and putting a little photo on there. But I didn't get that crazy. I just wrote in Sharpie, you know, the description of the shoe. And that way I just have to look at the tag and I don't have to open up the bag. And so when they're stacked, you just see the little tags and it's so cute. It's like, you know, cause I love those tags anyway. I think they're just really charming. So that's an idea. And then if you get really cute shoe bags, then even better, you know? I have, yeah, a, I have, I think that's nice. I have an idea for your scarves and this is what I've done. I've taken, um, I have three plastic hangers, white plastic hangers, and you can get the little clips, like individual plastic white clips that like you just push them down onto the plastic of your hanger and they'll uh-huh. clip on. And yeah. I clip all of my scarves, like, like the rainbow, all color coordinated on these three, um, uh, plastic hangers and I just clip them. That's and- a really good idea. Mm-hmm. Because I've seen that one. I've seen good. I've seen where you can buy um, even shower curtain hooks and put them on. Do you know what I'm saying? Like oh, the shower. Yeah. yeah then you'd have to tie the scarf though. But I like well, your idea better because it could be a different kind of material scarf. It could even be bulky, but you've clipping it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just fold it. I mean, I let it hang long, but I fold it over and I just give it a clip at the top and they're, they're pretty substantial clips. So, um, that works out really well for me. And oh, I, I didn't, I idea. didn't read that anywhere. I just came up with it, but I'm sure somebody already has as well. No, um, I think that was a, a brand new thought. Also, I, uh, like I have, you know, most of us have a lot of camis. Um, and so, I mean, I just had like so many hangers full of camis and I just decided, you know, this is, I'm taking up a lot of room because I have those, uh, like they're almost like a velvety covered hangers because yeah. they just hold your, I just think they hold your, um, clothes on it better, but I could put two or three camis on each one, but I read this idea. I thought it was so great. You know, those accessory hangers, they have the hook and then they have like almost like three quarters of a circle. Like you'd put your handbags on them and things. Right. Right. Put all your camis on that. Oh, there you Isn't go. Isn't that I the of most that. clever idea? That's a great idea. Because I, I, I must take up with the like six or eight inches just of camis on in my in my um, closet space. But I'm thinking I could put all of those on a hook and all you have to do is pull off the one you like. So I thought that was, I'm going to look for one of those uh, accessory hangers. I have a lot of the sort of, I think of the most sort of utilitarian tank tops, right? like the, almost the ribbed ones, like you could buy them mm-hmm. at the Gap or wherever. I right. have a ton of those, you know, because it's too. warm here. I wear it, I'll layer it under something. So I had the, and I had them all in a basket that was just, you know, and I always had to rifle through, oh, is, I'm really looking for black, but I keep finding navies. And, you know, and then I didn't even know how many I had and I'd end up, they'd be a sale and I'd buy, you know, three more <laughs> blue ones, but I had navy ones. So and now I just hang them over the hook part, you know, the, the hanger hook part mm-hmm. of a hanger that has a different shirt on it. You know, a shirt that I would normally oh, wear it under, it. you know, like yes, a black yes. kind of V-neck t-shirt. And so I'll mm-hmm. hang one of those right over the thing. So then it's almost like a little set there. I'm ready to roll. And you can see the color because it's yeah. on the hanger. So even if you didn't want to use it with the shirt it was hanging with, you could tell whether it was dark gray or black or blue. Well, you know what else you could do? You could use those shoe bags for it and put all your black ones in one one of those little oh, cubbies and all your oh, white ones because I don't yeah. you know if you roll those, those aren't those don't take up hardly any room at all. No, I but have them in my idea. drawers in the in the closet. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but you're right, everybody's got a stack of those somewhere. Right. And for me, being you know, five foot three and three quarters. Uh, I need a little stool. So if you can fit a little stool or a uh, foldable step stool in your closet, that will help you go vertical because you don't want to, you get yourself all organized there and you look up and you're like, oh, my boxes look so great and everything looks pretty and it's color coordinated and I have tags and, and then a month goes by and you can't remember what's any of those things and you can't reach them. And then you go to pull one down. My Usually I'll take a hanger and I'll kind of like, you know, kind of edge something to the edge and then it hits me on the head and then three other things fall down. So yeah, see if you can get yourself just a little stool and, or a little, even a foldable step stool and put it in there. Well, Kelly, you also brought up something I think is a really excellent tip and that is to coordinate your things by color. It's going to be so much easier to find things. My fave. You've got all 
the colors organized. So I have all my blue things, all my pink things, everything is organized. And then I have one shelf for uh, pants, which are basically just all jeans. And then there's another one for short sleeves, another one for long sleeves. So it's really easy for me to find everything. And I, I noticed one time in going in Evie's closet that I thought, wow, she's color coordinated all her clothes. I thought that's so impressive. And she was pretty young. And I thought, I can't believe she was not the most organized little, little sweetie. So I thought, wow, that's very (laughs) impressive. She's uh, organized it so well. And then I looked closer and realized that every single thing in her closet was pink. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, I so it say, just oh. looked coordinated, but it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, because mm-hmm. I would say I have my black section, and then I have yeah. like three other hangers. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a New Yorker. Still. I was. Oh my God. You took the words out of my mouth. Every um, time I, I got and I, my girls when I shop with them, they're like, "You do not need another black T-shirt. Put it down." <laughs> Oh, oh, you're right. I don't. Hey, I've just got, I just have another um, idea for closets. If you have a closet that is, you know, you open it with like maybe the bifold doors and it's part of your room and it's just about a little over a hanger wide or a little more than that. Look into, which I've done in our, our other rooms, I've put closet systems in. Now our closet's big, so we haven't done that yet. But I was surprised how reasonable that like the basic kit is. I just got it at Lowe's. Um, Bobby and I put it in. And when I say Bobby and I, he did, I supervised, uh, it took just a couple hours and you have, and you can buy all kinds of accessories for it. So, you know, even think about that. If you, if you have just a regular old pole and that's it in your closet with the bifold doors, you can put a really nice system closet system in there that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, in years, come by, there was the California closet and there's all these other closet systems and all that stuff is pretty expensive, albeit mm-hmm. they do it for you. And I'm sure that's really nice, but, um, yeah, I'm sure you can do it yourself with a, a, you know, take it home system from Lowe's or even the container store or something like that. My cautionary tale there would just be really think out your space first, because obviously mm-hmm. all closets are not the same and all people are not the same. And you have to think about what your needs are with regard to the space that you have. So make good purchases. Mm-hmm. Very smart. Very, very okay, smart. I have another one. Britbox just keeps getting better. The new Archie is amazing. And it's not the comics. It's about Cary Grant. Archie is the brand new limited series starring Jason Isaacs as Archie Leach, the man who became Cary Grant. From the award-winning screenwriter of Philomena, Archie tells Grant's born in Britain, made in Hollywood story, the dramatic grit to glamour transformation that led him to become one of the most famous people in the world. You are going to absolutely love the acting but also the styling, the outfits, the scenery. It's the first time his story has been told in collaboration with his daughter, Jennifer Grant, and ex-wife, Diane Cannon. The performances from Jason Isaacs and the rest of the cast are amazing, and it's only available on BritBox. So sign up for BritBox today to stream Archie and other fan favorites from any device. And we have a special limited time offer for our U.S. and Canadian listeners. Get 50% off. Yes, that's 50% off your first month when you sign up for a monthly plan. But only if you go to BritBox.com and use our promotion code DTT at checkout. You're going to love Archie. So head over right now and get 50% off your first month of BritBox. Use the promotion code DTT at BritBox.com. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy-to-reach goal is to add DOSE to your wellness regime. DOSE is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. 
Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt shelf dividers they can end up being your best friend Mm -hmm. talk to me about Uh, those i don't have any because they attach to your shelves that are usually that coated metal you know, wire sort of mm-hmm. material. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And they can sort of hook on to a shelf. So you probably would need to know how thick the wood or laminate is that your your shelf is made of. And you stick it on there and then you can create dividers. So your sweaters can be piled up and uh, you your know, jeans, your, if you your put jeans your jeans or mm-hmm. your gym sh- um, pants or something like that. Stuff that might slide around a little bit, especially as I'm saying, like up on the higher shelves, if you're kind of jumping up to grab something, if you pull something down, normally all the sweaters fall down on top of you. Yeah. And if they have the dividers, they seem to stay not only vertical, but they also stay on the shelf better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And it's a nice way to, if you have handbags, they have something to lean on rather than laying flat. Because if you're laying right. handbags flat on top of each other, they might sort of squish each other over time. So if they can sit up straight kind of the way they're supposed to in between a set of dividers, almost like bookends for some of your accessories, that's a nicer way to store them. Well, and while we're talking about purses, keep that stuffing that came in them or just, you know, it's, or just keep some tissue paper of your own and I've kind of figured out you really need to keep that in when you're, if you have an extra purse not in use, because it really does help it keep its form. And uh, it's just going to last better because if you don't have it in there, sometimes they get bent over and then they get creases and they just don't look as nice. And I have a tip for keeping those tall boots looking nice. And Mm. that is you can put uh, like pool noodles, cut pool noodles off about the size of your boots. And you can put a pool noodle in each of your boots and that'll help (laughs) them stand up. But you can also cover them and like make it like a bolster pillow where the, where you can maybe uh, uh, use pinking shears to pink the ends and put a big, a, a bow you know, where it, where the noodle. Oh, stop it. That is so I cute. No. And you could coordinate that if you have, if you've wallpapered your door, you can coordinate it with some fabric. Stop it. One year, my mother-in-law bought me two sets of those and she's a famous Marshall's TJ Maxx shopper. And I was like, gosh, she traveled all the way here with these big, giant, long stuff things like for Christmas to bring in her Christmas bags. I'm like, I don't even think I need these things. Okay. I'll stick them in my boots. Whoa. Game changer. I loved it. And my boots didn't take up as much space because they Mm -hmm. didn't flop over. Because when your boots flop over, then they have to flop over another set of boots and you just Mm -hmm. keep the domino of the flopping boot. It does. And so when they stand up like little soldiers, I love that. But the pool noodle, I'm going to do a little DIY. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do a little DIY on those. I saw that when I was researching, and I thought oh, that is such a brilliant idea. And even if you wanted to put a little lavender or something I in was the just bottom of that. it, oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, great minds think of like <laughs> great oh, minds. Goodness, I'm going to go do minds. this. Oh yeah, and you I'm should have a sachet this. in your closet yeah. for sure and you know we have sachets on our store and actually i'm my today is my patriotic collection so raise your flag set off some sparklers i am really excited about this collection it's absolutely darling and i have a set of sachets in there so the sachets Whoa. are amazing our uh the, the lady that does our sachets does such an amazing job. I have them in my drawers. And when I pull out uh, my delicates out of there, they just smell so wonderful. They smell like lavender. And uh, I just want one for every single drawer in my entire house. Yeah. No, well, really you great. know where You'll you can them. get that, Anita. So good. I know. Good. I, know I know. Go ahead, Anita. And they're great price, too. So I really check them out. 
Yeah. Shop this decorating tips and tricks.com. Hey, and we just want to, we're so glad that we could organize with you today. And I want to thank the girls because I got a couple of really good ideas. And I hope you did too. Remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. 